Congress as President Obama. Oh, yes, sir. So good to see you again. Good to see you, sir. Thank you so much. Hundred homes with the rebuilt and everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you so much. You've been all right today. In the yes, report. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Mr. Prats, and the guys on your team. As I learned from President Zelensky and his security team, uh, the Ukrainian military is making uh, steady advances uh, against the Russians. And I, I assured him that for my part, uh, we'll continue to do everything in our power to make sure that we provide the Ukrainian military with the support they need until they repel the Russian invasion and restore the sovereignty of this country. And I have every confidence that the day will come when Ukraine's sovereignty is restored and her territorial integrity is restored. And in that moment, I believe we'll not only have served the interests of the people of Ukraine, but I truly believe it's in the national interest of the United States and all of the free world that the Ukrainian military prevail. We need to make sure that we provide the Ukrainian military what they need to push back on and defeat Russian aggression here because it will make it clear to Russia, to China, and to any other nations in the world that would seek to redraw international lines by force, that the free world will not stand for it. The free world will stand together for freedom. Russia has gone from being the second most powerful military in the world to being the second most powerful military in Ukraine. That's real progress on a strategic level.